Hi everyone, this is Somia, and I wanted to share with you some of my very personal favorite Osborne books. I have a big Osborne book collection, so it was hard to narrow them down, but I'm going to try to run through these super quick because I don't think they're featured necessarily in some of the other videos you're going to see, and they're definitely worth a look. The first is from our beginner series, Beginner's Nonfiction. These are hardcover books, um, perfect for five, six, seven year olds. Um, I have a lot of the animal titles. They're great because they have information broken down into small chunks that are not overwhelming for a new reader. Um, photographs, illustrations, great information. I just love these. They're only $4.99, so you can actually build up a nice nonfiction library for your young reader. I have cats, monkeys, pandas, dogs, horses and ponies, farm animals, bears, elephants, and there's also other titles that are not animals like um, how flowers grow, volcanoes, etc. So check out our beginner's nonfiction series. They're fabulous books. Can't say enough good things about them. These are some books for very young children. My daughter is 22 months and she enjoys both of these. This is very first one, two, three. What I like about it is that there's multiple things to count on each page. So on this page, it's not just two cars to count, but there's two houses, two trees, two bunnies, two butterflies, two people, two bushes. Um, and it's like that on every page. It goes up to number five. So um, great for learning beginning counting. And this one is just a fun one on animals. It shows animals in different settings, farm animals, pets, wild animals, um, sea animals. The illustrations are super cute. It's a nice little board book and it's great for expanding vocabulary. Um, another one for expanding vocabulary is this one, 1,000 Things to Eat. Um, this one can encourage your child to try new foods that they've never heard of or foods that they have heard of and they've just been reluctant to check out. Um, spices, pasta, um, all these different kinds of produce. It's a nice flexible cardstock so it doesn't get um, ruined easily. Um, vegetables. Look at all of these vegetables. This is fabulous. Um, and there's also pages that are about et different ethnic foods such as Chinese food, Indian food, Italian food, Mexican food. Um, so it's a great way to introduce um, new cuisines to them. I love this one. Um, another great book is the Usborne Illustrated Alphabet. It's not your regular alphabet book. It comes in this nice slip cover, by the way. Um, it's great because unlike a regular alphabet book that just shows you these are words that start with C and these are words that start with D, this one actually is a story about all these things that are going wrong at this zoo on a particular day. And it's really actually silly and funny. Um, let me see and find a page. The kangaroos kicked up such a fuss when a kid kept chucking kiwi fruit at them. So as you can see, there's lots of words that start with the K sound, the K sound. And on the illustrations, there's some more. There's a kite and there's a koala. So there's lots of opportunities for your child to practice finding words that start with a particular letter sound. I love this book. This is a great one for three-year-olds, four-year-olds, children who are moving past just basic alphabet to learning more about how the sounds function in words. If you have a child that loves to draw, check out my first big book of doodling, drawing, and coloring. Love this one. Um, it is just full of great things for them to illustrate. Like here's how to draw a digger. I think it's a digger. Yes. And then it gives you a scene to draw diggers. Um, here are penguins that you can draw hats on. Um, drawing bears in the woods, decorating birds and trees, um, putting people on a train. Just a lot of fun. Um, great for when you want something for your kids to do quietly. If you have a child learning to read, telling the time is a great one. It's very hands-on. Um, learning how to use an analog clock is still a skill that's really important in schools, and a lot of children aren't familiar with it these days, with everything being digital. So this is a great way to practice, and it goes through the story of the children on Apple Tree Farm and what they're doing at different times of the day. Like at 7 o'clock, they wake up, so your child can move the hands to 7, and it goes through the day and shows what they're doing at different times of the day and what time to change the clock to. So a great way to practice. And it's the story um, from the family of um, Farmyard Tales, if you're familiar with that book. Here's another one I love, On the Moon. It's got this nice padded cover. And what's really cool about this is that they took actual illustrations, um, I'm sorry, actual photographs, and they put illustrations, layered them onto them. So here is an example of what the surface of the moon looks like, and they put illustrations on it. And this is great because lots of children are interested in the moon, but have no concept of what it would be like to go there. And the text is really simple, very simple story for them to follow. I love this page where they show the astronaut looking at Earth from far away. This is a great one. Um, I love our sticker books. Um, we have so many wonderful ones. 
this is sticker dolly dressing, which has female characters, and we also have sticker dressing, which is male characters. Um, I love that they're multicultural um, and very diverse. Uh, there are paragraphs on each page that tell a little bit about what's going on. So this is about car engineers. I love that it's not stereotyped gender gender stereotype jobs. And on each page, there will be stickers that coordinate. So this is for pages six and seven about a vet in Africa. And you can um, dress the, the girls and you can always read it as a book when you're done. Um, Sticker Dolly Dressing Around the World is another great one. Um, shows what people wear in Korea, a Cambodian dancer, reindeer herders in Norway, what a Japanese bride and groom look like. And it's a similar concept where there's um, the stickers coordinate with this particular page. Let me find one for you. Here's a mountain village in Peru, for example. So you would go and find the stickers that coordinate with page 22, and it would tell you how to assemble the outfits and even what the parts of the outfit are called. And for boys or uh, interested in boy characters, or anyone interested in boy characters, um, this is a great one. Sticker dolly dress, sticker dressing warriors. Um, for example, here's Samurai, so you could read about what Samurai wore and you would find and assemble the stickers to create that outfit and they're numbered so it makes it really easy for you to figure out how to assemble the outfits. For young children, I love New Puppy Sticker Book. Um, what's great is that it's one of our dual readers, so the top line is very simple text and the bottom is more complex text. You would find the stickers that coordinate with the pictures, so a newspaper and a bowl and you would find those here, here's the bowl. And then once your child assembles that, the word is still on the sticker, so they can continue to read the story and the word is on there to help them learn the sight words. This is just a story about them getting a new puppy. Um, it's fabulous. I recommend this for anyone with a young child. I'm gonna try to go through these super fast because we're running out of time. My first Christmas keyboard book, we also have a regular keyboard book that is non-Christmas songs. These are color coordinated with the dots on the pages. Um, and I'm going to show you just a really quick example. Um, oh, Christmas tree. Fabulous. Uh, most of these are songs I've heard of, but if you have some that you have not heard of, you can go to Osborne.com, quick links, type in Christmas keyboard, and you'll get to hear um, clips of the songs that are in this book. So much fun. So much fun for young kids. Um, our wipe clean books are awesome. If you haven't heard of them already, a uh, dry erase marker comes with it and they can practice all different kinds of things. Letters, telling the time, first math, words to copy. Uh, I have one on vacation activities, which is all fun stuff like mazes, tracing, matching, um, all kinds. Of, there's so many on the website if you search for wipe clean. I especially love words to copy because um, not only are there the dotted lines to trace over, but there are also empty spaces for your child to practice their own penmanship, which is great because you want them to ultimately move away from the dotted lines to learning how to do it freehand. And these are a lot of the sight words that they'll be seeing in kindergarten, for example. So great. And if you want something that's easy to take with you on the road to restaurants, appointments, etc., this is um, from our Get Ready for School activity pack. There's also a Starting School activity pack, two different ones. And you can kind of see the size comparison here, but they're still great to trace and they lay flat really nicely to go on tables. So perfect for throwing in your bag and taking on the road with you. And lastly, I can't end my favorites video without showing you all better. These are reusable plastic stickers that you can use to um, help each character who gets an injury in the book. And this is great. Um, this one has the elephant, so you put it on the elephant and say, all better. My daughter is 22 months old and she can't get enough of this book. She calls it her Band-Aid book and it is one of our best sellers for a good reason. I hope that's given you some great ideas and I'll talk to you soon.